The only guarantee that you're going to have in everything that you do is change, okay, C-H-A-N-G-E. And just as soon as you figure out Facebook, you figure out Twitter, you figure out LinkedIn, it's all going to change. Something new is going to launch, Facebook's going to change their rules, so just embrace the fact that it's a journey and you are on for a long, hard ride. Some days you may feel like you're by yourself, kind of like this person here, and you have a long way to go. But you just need to grab on to each other and embrace the fact that you're going to get there eventually. You're not about yourself. You are about providing value to the ecosystem. Social business is so much more than Facebook. Okay? Becoming a social business takes years, if not decades. Okay? There's, no, there's no end goal that all of a sudden you can say, I am a social business. Right? It doesn't happen. It is a, a journey that is going to be continuous. Social media, on the other hand, is basically the medium. It's the platform, and it refers to the means of which interactions among people are creating, sharing, and exchanging information and ideas. They're doing that in virtual communities and networks, okay? So that's all the things that you know and love, Facebook, Twitter. People need to make an investment in your brand. Just because they see it doesn't mean that they see value in it. They need to take some sort of action to engage with you, to share something about you, to understand you. But until they take that action, they're not really investing in your brand or seeing value in that. It puts the small business now on the same playing field as some large scale enterprises, okay? You have the same opportunity to, to reach out to audiences and build communities like you never did before. You don't, you don't have to rely on some of the, the older technology that used to, to take you know, months and years to, to grow those communities. You can become the media if you focus on value to your core audiences. And it becomes a platform that you can absolutely build your business, you can create relationships, uh, you can create communities, but it's not instantaneous, right, by just hopping on Facebook. So Houston, we have a problem, okay? And I know, because I sat in some of the sessions yesterday, that, and I've listened to some of you, I know you all have a website problem, okay? Many of you. And I've looked at some of your websites, and they're ugly on my mobile phone, okay? Um, I can't get to what I need to see. And I know it hurts. I'm seeing some of your faces go like this. Okay. By 2015, IDC predicts that there will be 1.3 billion mobile workers. 90% of mobile, mobile users have a device within arm's reach all the time. I know none of you have ever done this. <laughs> right? Nobody in this room has ever tweeted from the bathroom down the hall, right? Because news is breaking on Twitter, and because people know that's where people are going for information, everybody's storming Twitter, right? It's like those old rave parties. I never went to one, but I'm thinking this is how it was, <laughs> that everybody's just rushing. Okay, we can tweet now. We can tweet all day long. And, you know, the average tweet, I've heard some social media gurus tell people, you need to tweet all day long because the average tweet only lasts 10 seconds. Baloney. Okay, you don't need to do that. If your tweet only lasts 10 seconds, you have a content, a context, and a relevance problem, right? If you're providing good content, people will dig back for months. Many businesses, when they feel that nobody's listening, they're like, well, I'm just going to say more. I'm just going to auto-tweet more content. I'm going to log into Hootsuite and auto-post auto everything that I could possibly say so people will talk to me. What you really need to do is shut up. Okay. What you really need to do is just listen. Listen to why people aren't talking to you. Go listen to what people are saying. Go listen to the conversations so that you can become a contributing, positive part of that conversation. Especially in marketing, we are never a shortage of ideas, right? I mean, I could, if I could only have time and money to implement all my ideas, I would be on a beach somewhere right now. But uh, so everybody has an idea. So you walk in on a, to your monthly, your weekly meeting, and people start talking about ideas, right? They forget about the thing, the ideas you already committed to last week. Remember those? Those awesome ideas you were going to do that you didn't have any funding to do? But now you're going to add more to them, right? And, and now the key identifiers are it's not funded, it's not in the plan, it's not integrated, and you have no idea how you're going to measure your success. Who's experienced this? Okay. So then what happens in six months? When you have your review or your boss is saying, 
uh, your executive or your board or your you know board of directors, stakeholders, whoever, are saying, "Hey, where did all that money? How's that money? Uh, what's that ROI on that that money that we invested in your social media and your marketing?" Ah, uh, I don't know. Let me get back to you on that. Okay, and then you go back to your team and you're like, "Okay, let's talk about it. What do we do? What are how many likes do we have? Right? How many Facebook followers? What's our clout score?" You're looking at all the wrong numbers, and you're, you're digging for gold in a, a cave that you're not going to find any gold in. So number one thing we do when we work with our clients is you must eliminate the rams. And usually, 99.9% .9 of the time, none of our clients, and I would bet it's all of you too, you don't have extra money to integrate social media or to build your online communities, right? To build offline com more offline community. You have less. You know, you need, so what you need to do is take that list of 50 things and you need to knock it in at least half. Okay, it's not what am I going to do, it's what am I not going to do so I can do the right things. Uh, everything that you do, you must ask yourself, why? Why am I doing this, right? And what value is it providing? Why is my audience going to give a rip that I'm doing this? Right? If every post should, every post that you do on social, every post that you do on any platform should you should answer the question, why? What, is the, what value is this going to bring? You know, respect my inbox, respect my time, respect my news feed in Facebook, you know, respect my click, respect every action that I'm taking. Because remember, when I take an action, I'm investing in your brand. And there's a level of trust. I'm trusting you that something is good on the other side. I'm trusting you that when I click, there's going to be something good for me. Something that's going to inspire me and educate me. This, there is a methodology called uh, the post methodology. And this is from Forrester Research. Who's heard of Forrester? Okay. So this is a methodology that works. Okay. And what do most people do when they hop on the social networks? Where do we focus? When you, when you want to do social media, what comes to mind? Does the platform come to mind? When you think, I want to do social media. Okay. Number one, you shouldn't be thinking, I want to do social media. You should be thinking, how can I leverage social media? Um, but the first thing most people think of is Facebook or Twitter. They start with the technology. So what post is, is it basically turns that upside down. And so we start with the people. So we do not invest any time, money, or effort into a platform or content for an audience until we understand that audience. You know, instead of saying, if... If you are telling me that you, all of your audiences, your audience is everybody between the age of 10 and 110, okay, wrong. You need to narrow down and segment and segment your audience because with social, it truly is about a conversation with human beings. Remember, we're not talking to those blow-up dolls. We're talking to real people. And in order to talk to a real person, you have to know who they are. When you think about your audience, Think about their objectives first. We always say, inspire, connect, achieve. And if we inspire our audiences to connect with us with a goal of helping them achieve their objectives, you will organically achieve your objectives. Go deep into the who, the what, the how, the where, and the why should we care? What do they need? You know, and that's, I think, of all these words on this slide, I think the, the what do they need is the one that doesn't get asked enough. What is it they need, right? Not what do I want to provide to them, but what do they need? And what, what do they want to talk about, right? Where do they want to talk to you? Why do they want to talk to you? Okay, a lot of times if things are just not working online, get outside. Go to your own, you know, cultural event. Get out there and experience it. And if you are a leader in an organization and you have your staff that's doing social media, enable them to get outside, right? Encourage them to take a day off once in a while and go experience the culture in the town.